Hey there, once again, Jack D'Souza, Master D here for Martial Arts Advantage in Centerton. This is Danny Johnson, third degree black belt, all around great guy, good for self-defense. Um, so let's say um, I don't know this man and maybe I angered him. Maybe I bumped into him in my car or something by accident or just something and he's angry and he's angry at me and he's approaching me. So what, what, so yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's like in, in my face and I, what's the matter for me and all that kind of stuff. So I, what I want to do is two ways, soothe the savage beast, but protect myself. And that's what you want to do. So he, he's angry. I, I want to be up like this and sir, you need to back up, sir. The closer he gets, the louder I'm going to get. And then I have to make a decision. Do I attack him? Do you attack him? Now, if he's back there, uh, if you'll go back, Danny, and he's approaching and coming, I'm going to have my hands up, right, sir, let's talk about this, let's back up. You need to back up, it's just an accident. Uh, just need, I need you to calm down, sir, please back up. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you want your hands up. Number one, you want your hands up to protect yourself. This is, this is protect, you, if worse come to worse, you can cover. So, two, if I do a fist, I might intimidate him. I'd rather calm the savage beast down and have my hand up like this. Three, nowadays everybody's videotaping something. He could attack me and later come back and say I attacked him and, and crazy court system sometimes, you never know how things go. But on video, if they see me up like this and the judge, it looks like you know I'm trying to calm things down, which I am. I, I don't want to fight if, if we can avoid this. So, that, so you want to just have your feet apart, good balance like we talked about, hands up. So if he does throw a haymaker or something, just cover, of course, get inside, just trap. You might have to hit a couple of times, get him off you, and then go. All right. Sometimes you might even be at the decision where you've got to go. And sir, you need to back up. You need to, and if he does, if you can't run, say you're trapped in between automobiles and you can't run, then you might have to make the decision to go in. He's like just so angry. He says, you need to back up and go in and attack him before he attacks you. Uh, always in wartime or on the street, they want the first punch or they want the, the first bombing or something like that, the sucker punch. So we want to get that advantage. Sir, you need to back up when? Right there with your palm. If you don't want to make a fist, and you just just right there, nose, chin, right there with your palm. But if your hands up, you can do it. Boom. Blind him a little bit, hit him, make his nose run, and then you run, and get out of there and get help. Okay. So hands up, feet apart. Try and calm calm him down as he gets closer. Bring your volume up, sir. Sir, I, I'm going to have to ask you to stay back. You need to stay back. And um, then you might be in a decision where you'll have to go in and attack or cover and get inside. Or, you know, but sometimes it's split stack second decision. So, but you're best off, just calm. We can work this out. We have insurance. Let's just, I know you're angry, sir. So just let's both breathe, take a breath. Nobody got hurt. Everybody's okay. And just do your best negotiating skills in that situation. I hope this helps. Thanks so much.